today is january 1st and it's a brand new year welcome to 2023 i'm here to talk to africans in the diaspora once again and specifically i want to talk to our Ghanaian brothers and sisters in the diaspora okay our Ghanaian brothers and sisters in europe our Ghanaian brothers and sisters in north america south america wherever you find yourself outside the confines of ghana i'm here to talk to you and it's something that has been bothering me for quite a while and i want us to talk about it or i want us to discuss it a lot of the time when you leave the shores of ghana to europe when you leave the shores of ghana to north america to south america or wherever you find yourself a lot of our family friends loved ones actually alienate us from you know from ghana when you leave they think you don't belong to Ghana anymore. They think, you know, you are not part of the Ghanaian society. It is as if when you leave the shores of Ghana to the outside world, people write you off. And each time there are discussions around development in Ghana, each time there is a discussion about the Ghanaian economy and we make contributions or we make suggestions or we speak about it people will come to the comment session and actually lambast you they will talk they will make all kinds of comments that suggest that you are not living in Ghana so you don't have a say when it comes to the Ghanaian economy you don't have a say when it comes to the development of Ghana because you are not experiencing what we are experiencing in Ghana so literally they are trying to tell you that because you are no longer in Ghana uh, your suggestions or your um, your suggestions or your contributions are not welcomed however your remittances are welcome you know loved ones friends families always expect you to remit you know your funds to them but when it comes to making contributions you are not welcome to make contributions when it comes to suggesting how things should be done in ghana or when it comes to you speaking up about the economy in ghana or when it comes to you speaking up about the development in ghana you are not welcome you are not welcomed it is your money that speaks for you and literally that is what it has been for so many years and i'm here to speak about it now the fact that people leave the shores of ghana to the united states of america to germany to finland to the uk doesn't mean that you know they have suddenly forgotten about ghana and they do not care about Ghanaians or their loved ones friends and families anymore it will surprise you that a lot of people in the diaspora actually follow proceedings in ghana more than even those living in ghana people follow the news people follow you know things on the internet they know things that are happening in ghana and you know they may make a contribution or a suggestion or speak about things that are happening and it seems like each time they do they trigger Ghanaians or they trigger their friends families or loved ones and people would attack them in the comment sessions basically all they are trying to tell you is that you are not living in ghana so you are not experiencing what they are experiencing in ghana it's as if you have never experienced the problems in ghana in your life and it is as if 
you know all is well with you so your contributions are no longer welcomed but that is not the case here you know the Ghanaian problem our developmental problems our economy has always been the same nothing has changed our political dynamics have always been the same nothing has changed so if i leave the shores of ghana and i'm making a video to talk about certain things happening in ghana or i speak up about certain things uh, about certain developmental agendas or about the economy in ghana and you come attacking me i see it as a low blow you know i see it as a blow below the belt i was born and raised in ghana i schooled in ghana and i have experienced ghana i was born and bred in ghana the fact that i have moved outside the confines of ghana doesn't mean that i don't know what is happening in ghana people will attack you for no apparent reason i i just don't understand why we do these things to africans or to ghanaians in the diaspora you know in the year 2022 it will amaze you to know that ghanaians in the diaspora the remittances they sent to ghana was close to 4.7 billion dollars 4.7 billion dollars remittances to and ghana the remittance to the gdp rate was about six point something percent you know just imagine the remittances that Ghanaians in the diaspora sent back home 4.7 billion dollars you know so your money is welcomed but your contributions are not welcome you know anytime you want to speak about anything you are not welcome to speak because you are not living in ghana anytime you want to make any suggestions your suggestions are not welcome because you are not living in ghana it is perceived that you are enjoying wherever you are and you are alienated from the problems in ghana that is not the issue the issue is that our problems have always been the same since time memorial our problems have always been the same you know the problems we face in our school systems have always been the same the problems we face in our economy has always been the same the unemployment the high unemployment rates have always been the same you know things are not necessarily improving so when i speak about things that are happening in ghana it is not that because i don't live there and i don't experience what you experience here i cannot speak about the things that are happening in ghana you know we all have equal say when it comes to speaking about the Ghanaian economy or when it comes to speaking about the development in Ghana so let us welcome each other's contributions and let us not alienate you know Africans in the diaspora let us not alienate Ghanaians in the diaspora from Ghana whenever they leave the shores of Ghana you know you live and work happily in Ghana you pay taxes in Ghana I live and work happily in Texas and I'm also a contributing factor when it comes to the development of Ghana you know so you cannot outright write me off and say that my contributions are not welcome let us take note of this you know it should not always be the case that oh Ghanaians living in the diaspora are too no you know they they like to show off they like to do this and that and man let us stop all these animosities against each other you know if i have a contribution if i have a suggestion i will gladly come and make those suggestions if you have yours you can also gladly make your suggestions you know the fact that you know i've lay, i've moved outside the confines of ghana doesn't mean that uh i'm alienated from the problems in ghana it doesn't mean that uh, i've never experienced the harsh conditions in ghana you know 
we all want the betterment of our country so we will speak we will speak out when the need be you know we will make suggestions when the need be you know it is it shouldn't always be about the remittances we send to ghana it shouldn't always be about you know uh, help me and it is as if when you speak you know people it is as if people don't want you to speak at all you know i keep telling people that if you ask me about how the united states is or if you ask me about the conditions in texas i would give you my opinion okay everybody's experience may be different okay i know people who stepped foot in the united states of america and they already knew how much they were going to make and i know people who came here as students and struggled throughout worked very hard they worked whilst they were going to school and i know people who came here and started from the scratch they started from you know ground, ground zero you know so when people make certain comments or when people make certain contributions their decisions or their contributions are not final however they are telling you about their experiences okay a lot of people may have come here with the mindset that america is all that you know they may have come here with the mindset that oh this place is final you know america is all that and this is the place to be you know wait until you are faced with certain conditions then they will come out and say one or two you know and the fact that they are making their contributions doesn't mean that whatever they say is what it is you know they are talking to you based off on their experiences you know and everybody speaks based off on their experience so if someone says america is hard it doesn't mean that don't come to the united states of america you know their experiences may have informed their decisions or whatever they say to you based off on their experiences they may tell you that hey it is better to come here when you are well documented or it is better to come here when conditions are this and that you know it doesn't mean that don't come to the united states man if you speak to a lot of Ghanaians in the diaspora about 1995 to 99 percent of people will tell you that we wish all Ghanaians come to the united states of america and experience how life is in the united states of america quote me if i'm wrong most Ghanaians you meet would definitely tell you that they wish that all Ghanaians, all Ghanaians experience what they are experiencing. They can also, you know, they can also tell their own stories. They can also speak about their own experiences, you know. So if someone says America is tough, things are hard here, it doesn't mean that he's trying to say don't come to America. You know, he's telling you about his experiences. He's telling you about what he has faced you know so let us not outright read meanings to what people say you know we should be very patient with ourselves the fact that we've left the shores of ghana doesn't mean that we should be alienated from you know the conditions in ghana or we should be alienated from speaking about you know things happening in ghana you know so it's just a simple message to all africans in the diaspora um, help where they need be and just guard your investment it's just as simple as that guard your investment guard what you say be very mindful when you speak about things that are happening in ghana and just speak about your experiences 
it's just as simple as that speak about your experiences because your experiences may be different from my experience and my experience may be different from yours so i will end the video here and i will see you in my next video it is adieu for now